Hi, sewing friends. Welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth, and if you're new, welcome. Today, I'm making the coziest quilt ever. It's flannel squares and this very soft blanket that I added on the back. I'm going to show you how I did that. Let's get started. Here are the fabrics for my very cozy quilt. I'm using some flannels that were in my stash in this box here. I dug through and tried to find some flannel fabrics that kind of coordinated with each other and I'll be making some very simple quilt blocks. We started out with a very wet weekend this last weekend so it was the perfect day to do some simple sewing making a very cozy quilt. Using flannel, I like to use larger pieces of fabric because flannel tends to have a little give and these five inch squares will be perfect for some little four patches for my quilt. This is a really nice mix of fabric that just came together. It was not purchased together, but I love how all those soft yellows kind of blend in with the plaids and that last bit of a print that I had in my stash for quite a while. It's sort of a winter print and that goes along really well with this quilt. The rain continued through the weekend, so that made sewing time really nice. The garden is getting watered, and I can stay in the sewing room and continue making my very simple cozy quilt. I kept adding squares, not knowing exactly how big my quilt would be able to grow into, but it got to be 49 inches by 58 inches, and I have a great backing fabric for my quilt that's a little unusual. Mm -hmm. 
I'm using a very soft polyester throw or blanket that I won at a party at Christmas time. I'm not really a big fan of these super soft blankets, but I kept it thinking that maybe I could make a somewhat of a quilt uh, project with it and someone else would really like it. I know a lot of people love these soft throws. I prefer just a cotton quilt with batting. I love quilts and so this is going to be a first time for me trying to figure out how to make this quilt with this um, fleece fabric. I'm using my 505 spray and I'm going to see if these pieces will adhere together so that I can do the quilting and they did a pretty good job. Towards the end I did use a couple of pins to hold things in place. This won't need a lot of quilting, but I'm going to fold my quilt top diagonally and I'll be sewing through each square from corner to corner. I'm going to start sort of in the middle of my quilt and I'm going to try to get that quilting line all the way through the middle using a stitch that's a little bit larger on my jupe it's a number three and a half somewhere between three and a half and four and I'm not using a walking foot I know some machines do a better job if you use a walking foot but my machine seems to do okay for the most part just using the all-purpose After getting all of those quilting lines in, I decided to go around the edge of the quilt and add a, what I call a stay stitch so that those two layers will not move around when I'm adding the binding. Here's my binding fabric. I think it's a great um, color and pattern for this quilt. It's cotton fabric, it's not flannel, and I'll be cutting my strips two and a half inches wide. The width of the fabric, and I needed five strips to go all the way around my quilt. Make that long piece of binding, I put the right sides together in this position and then I sew a line from corner to corner and you can see the salvages are hanging off the edge there and after sewing that first seam I will continue doing that with the rest of the strips and then I'll cut off that excess fabric, those little triangles on the outside and then it'll be time to press.
My binding is ready to go, but my quilt is not ready quite yet. I did put that stay stitch all the way around, and now I need to trim away the excess, that soft fabric, and I'll trim right next to the edge of the quilt top. I'll be sewing my binding on to the back of my quilt, leaving a tail about 8 to 10 inches before I start sewing right along the edge of my quilt. I'm sewing about a half inch away from the edge of the quilt, and before I get to that first corner, I'll stop and pivot and sew off the corner. I'll turn my quilt and I'll lift that binding up and down so there's a fold right there at the top and I'm going to sew starting right on that fold and I'll do that same thing all the way around. When I got to where I started, I saw that I had just a tiny bit extra, which was great. All I need is two and a half inches extra on this binding, and I'm going to cut off that little salvage, and I will fold right next to where I cut that salvage off. I'll put a fold right there, and then I'm going to measure two and a half inches. So I need a little tiny piece or tail that is two and a half inches away from or two and a half inches from the fold and since this has some lines on the fabric I was it was real easy to see where to cut that and now I'll put the right sides together just like I put my binding strips together earlier I'll open them up so they're not folded and then I'm going to sew from corner to corner sort of diagonally and before I trim away those triangles, I will double check to make sure that it fits and that it's not twisted. Everything looked good, so I pinned it down and I finished up sewing that binding. And this is called a continuous binding. You can't really tell where it begins or where it ends and after I got it sewn on the back I just turned my quilt over and I will top stitch after I'll wrap the binding to the front and I won't pin this time it, it works out pretty well just to pull it around as you go what I did find using this polyester blanket is that I have fuzz all over my clothing when I was done so cutting the edge of that polyester really made kind of a big mess, mainly on my clothing. I don't think it got anywhere else. And so I am containing all of that fuzz inside that binding. There shouldn't be any trouble now with any of the raw edges. And this is going to be a really soft quilt. Here is that fuzz I was talking about. Uh, it doesn't look too bad because I'd already uh, brushed away most of it, but here is that beautiful cozy quilt. 
Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.